G'day, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about these um, fireworks. Um, I think they're called Spin World. I'm pretty sure some of you have uh, seen them or messed around with them. Uh, pretty much what it is, it's a ground bloom, but it has a little cap on it or a point and it spins on its pivot like a little gyroscope. And it spins very fast and it like bounces around and stuff. There's videos on YouTube and stuff about those. Um, you could do a ground bloom. Um, I just 3D printed this thing because I don't know if they sell the little um, cone that goes on it. Um, it's literally just a cone. You could pretty much make one if you wanted to out of cardboard, I'm sure, and paper mache or something, make it uh, sturdy enough to bounce around on. Um, but pretty much I wanted to try one out. I'm not sure if I'd test this one out here today but I may may not um, here are some ball shells that I was working on um, they seem to be pretty good they're very solid now that the gum tape jarred um, I'm using one with the Chinese quarter inch time fuse and then one with the normal fuse I think it's the 1 8 diameter and a little bit of quick fuse inside with a piece of straw to kind of help you can hear it I uh, got some Burst charge in there with some tiger tail stars. Um, just wanted to also show a couple of the things that I have. So this is a little military satellite. Um, usually it comes with the ground bloom attached to it. Like not this, but it looks like that. And uh, pretty much put it face down, it spins up. So this half inch tube is way too big. I want to say the uh, 3 8 inch maybe the 5 16 tubes will fit in here I'm gonna make one of those to kind of see how well I can get this guy to spin and um, here's also uh, uh, I actually bought a bag of these a, a long time ago actually I forgot I had them as you can see right there they're uh, from Skylighter it's a one, eight, one and a one eighth inch um, ball shell uh, essentially it has a little lift cup already in it and it's got this nice little notch on it that you can use for the fuse. Um, at the other end, you just put a cap on it, which I do have caps now that I remember, um, or plug discs or whatever, um, so I can get these to launch out of a tube. Um, these though, the only thing with that is that you can probably only make a salute because they're very small, so I don't think I'd be able to fit many stars in there. Um, and the last thing I wanted to go over was, uh, I'm gonna start making these torbillions. Um, I've made one before, but I didn't have the, what do you call it, the, um, the correct fuse to use it, right? So essentially what it is, is um, it, uh, a wing goes in the middle like that, and you pretty much plug one in, and the other end you plug it, and the rest is filled with black powder. And you, you, uh, you, cut, uh, you drill out two holes down the, the, the sides like this, you would make one here, one here. And what that does is, as the firework is spinning, it actually takes off from the vent hose that you made down here on the bottom and it lifts up. Uh, I want to say I remember drilling out a hole on the side as well to kind of create that spinning effect. Um, but you do need quick fuse because once this hole lights, the other two holes are going to light as well and as it's spinning those two jets on the bottom are going to cause it to lift along with the wing so uh, what you do is uh, you pretty much put you know a fuse like this on the side and then you attach the quick fuse to this and to this hole here and once this starts to spin off the quick fuse lights off and then it lights off all three holes at the same time and then it spins up that's going to be another project i'm going to work on uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it to work. Um, this here, I just pretty much did a rocket, uh, a rocket core, but with nothing in it. So I'm gonna also figure out what I want to make with this. Maybe I'll do a uh, what do you call it, a, a fountain or a gerb or something like that. Um, I've also thought about doing something like this, but making it into a um, a star gun. You know, I can drill a hole on the side, put a little black powder in there, and then drop a uh, three-eighths inch, three inch star inside of it, and then 
you know, have it glued down to like a uh, platform or something and then use that as a star tester so that I can actually lift off some stars and see how they perform. So pretty much that's what I'm going to be working on. Uh, more videos to come as I'm going to see about getting some of these fireworks done. Uh, but I really do like this star uh, spin world type firework. I know I made one before with the ground bloom. I 3D printed this little guy and it spun really nicely and it was working fine. It's just after a while I tried it again because you can remove, let's see if this one's a little bit on there tight, but you can actually remove the cap like that. Um, this one I had to modify just a little bit because it was my first 3D print, but um, I attached it to another ground bloom and then it didn't work. And then I attached it to another one and then it worked and it was hit or miss. Um, but that's because the composition, the ground blooms aren't really um, solid. You know, it's it's either they're good or they're not. So, you know, it really just depends on how well the ground bloom was made. Uh, but when I make mine, they're pretty consistent. I do the same thing over and over. So anyways, that's all for now. Um, we're going to make more videos soon. Uh, so just stay tuned. All right, you guys have a good day.